What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a moon photo, and this is from Apollo 8. Now, when you see the photo, it's got this washed-out look, surprise, surprise, from the powers that be. Now, once we get into this photo and enhance it, there's some objects on the lunar surface that just don't look natural. I'm going to let you folks be the judge of this, so get out your magnifiers and your eyepieces. We're going to have a closer look at this. Let's just jump right into it. All right, you can see it right here. It's from Flickr.com, and they've got all the photos up here, and it's from Project Apollo Archives. And you can see the ID number right here in the lower left-hand side. You can see it's AS08-13-2331. Now, when you look at this photo, right off the bat, we can just make it full screen. Folks, check this out. Now, this is not the type of photos you would see from a Hasselblad, okay? You would expect to see much more clearer not so hazed out photo it's washed out now this is the area i really concentrated on because of some things i can see it right now because i enhanced it i can still see in the raw photo and I, I can see these objects and it's incredible how much stuff is in here now what i did do is i put it in photoshop rotated a little bit clockwise and then i put some arrows next to the objects of interest so let's just jump right into that and have a better look okay let's get into this now you can see i did rotate a little bit to get the proper orientation and you can see that now folks again this is the area that's got most of these objects in it however they're all over the photo now i'm going to just back out a little bit have a look at this now folks why would you have an extremely bright crater does this make sense at all to anybody the rest of it seems to be fine look at it or did they put something over this area to hide what's really here so we're going to get into that as well. But, folks, I can see things right now, and I'm going to zoom into one area. I'm going to put a smack dab in the middle. I don't know if any of you folks can see this. But smack dab right here in the middle, it, it appears to be some kind of like almost like domish thing on a platform. And then there's two other small items right to the right of it, and they look like they have like these square bases to them. And that's just only a couple of pieces. Let's just back out, and I'm going to do the fully enhanced. And throw some arrows on there, of, like I said, of the things I find interesting. So let's start from the very top, because you can see them right here, top right. Now I want you to envision you're in the spacecraft right now looking over it. You're just above the surface of the moon, and we're having a look at the stuff. Now, just look at some of the stuff right here. Even right here, above this arrow, you can see what looks like something sticking out. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of weird pipe going into something else, or whatever that is. But this alone doesn't look natural, at least in my eyes. Here to the left. Check this one here out. Let's zoom into that. Right here. The big part here. And then this little one right here, it's more of a brightened area. Now, I've always stated that Anything that's on top of these flat platforms are some structures or some other thing that is not natural. Why? Because you can bet some of these things are quite large. In other words, if you were standing on the surface, a lot of these would be quite large. If it was some kind of rock hitting the lunar surface, it would make a crater the size of, who knows, half the size of Manhattan. And I'm talking about very large rocks, right? I'm not talking about something small because it may make only like a 30-foot crater, so not a big deal. But these things appear to be on a top of a flat surface and not sunk in the ground. That's the difference. Go down here a little bit. This one here on the right-hand side is two objects. There's one right here. I'll go ahead and show you. And there's one right here. Check them objects out. This one to the left. Check that out. Look at the way this thing is situated. You can see it, it has almost like an opening. If you look right here, it looks like it's kind of like a pipe type thing, and you can see the center, it's black. But take a good look at that item. It's pretty crazy. It's something you just look at and you just say, that's non-natural, period, right? Check out the little objects right here. I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. 
that one there. And now let's have a look, folks. Look at these objects. You can see with the arrows. And this is the original. Okay. Slide over to the left. Check this thing out. Not sure. There are multiple pieces. Now, folks, keep in mind, you may see things in here, and you will, that I did not circle. I just did the more larger pieces. So I'm basically just pointing out the larger objects, right? Again, back in the original. You start to see it a little bit. Come down. Enhance it. Let's go down here. Now, this white piece you see here, and I'll put it in the middle of the screen, that's nothing more than something that was on the film. Here's another thing that's pretty weird. We have, I don't know if you've seen this. Let me go back up here just for a second. This brightened area here. Look at the shape of the darker object, okay? Now, that may be nothing, but there's a reason why they have it really super high exposure type thing. Or they just put like a paint and something like that. They just went over it and just did it real quick. Now, the techniques, it's hard to tell what kind of techniques they use to do some of these things. Because even back in the day, it's hard to tell, right? The reason why I brought that up is if you look at some of these objects, you've got this piece right here. has what looks like some kind of weird triangular piece. But now, folks, let's just drop down a little bit. There's another one, almost a triangular piece. See that? Here. They look like they're on some kind of platform. This one as well. Although this area here has brightened up a little more than it should be, but you can see, like, if you take a closer look, this one's actually got well-defined walls or a platform. Let me show you again. Get rid of that. Look right here. I'm not going to put it over it because then it'll hide the lines. Right here. See the straight lines? is like a corner. You can see this one doing this. Take a really good look. And, folks, that's one, two triangular-looking objects. What is the chances of that? All right, let's zoom out. Now we're going to bounce over to the other side, show you these other objects. Again, what do we have here in the top arrow? We have what looks like another tree, large triangular piece sitting right there on the surface of the moon. Now, when we look at this here, we've got, again, this. Look at the details in it. This whole area right here, look at the squares and the shapes inside this oval circle. Check that out. Here. Nothing more than craters or much more. Okay, look at those objects. Are they there? Yeah, they're there. You can see them. Drop down. This right here. What is this right there on the surface? We got these other pieces here. Not sure what to make of that. Although I didn't put an arrow on it, but you can see something's weird there. Little pieces on here. This is a little vague, but you can see it. Slide it over here. This is where it starts to get really interesting. This one here is kind of vague as well. However, look at this object right here. I think this is actually pretty cool. Just look at some of the straight lines and the small docker what looks like circles or some kind of design in this thing right this one's hard to define you can see right there see that that's the original bring it up a little bit see that okay slide it down this larger object now this may not be much of anything when you look at it but this is what i was getting at earlier you can see this right here it looks like it's on some kind of platform. But then you can see the actual object is right here. Now, let's suppose it's not even an object, and that's fine. If it was a boulder, some kind of rock, hurling through space and slammed into the lunar surface, you would have what? You'd have a crater. You would not have something sitting on top of a platform. Now, is it possible some of these things just come in very slow and just kind of just drop to the ground. But you know as well as I do, I don't care if it's coming in at 30 miles an hour. It's going to make a dent in the lunar surface. It's not just going to lay on the surface. It's going to make a crater, right? Well, there you go. This here. I don't have an arrow on it, but check this out. I've noticed this as well. Right here, it almost looks like this like tower type thing. You can see what looks like little legs 
going up like this here. Something round. And if you look carefully, there is another leg there. See it? Right there. Drop it down. Check this out on this side. Let's see what this area here looks like. Original. This is the original. You can see it. Okay. Check that out. Go along it. You can see what looks like little other pieces sitting there on that white line. See that? Okay. Here's what I think is the most revealing. This whole area right here. You got the one, two, three, four pieces. Have a look at this whole area, folks. This to me is amazing because there's things in here that should not be. It's just simply not natural. But what looks like this weird ring type thing. Okay, what well, looks like something protruding out of it. This object right here. And by the way, that has a small circle right here. Things branching off. You see this thing is in the background, does this. And on top of this skinny area, you can see what looks like little objects right here, a little darker object, something much larger right on top of this, okay? Something right here, something we would probably relate to as some kind of steel girder. Here, here, and this whole object is something in here. I don't even know what this thing is. Uh, I mean, other than saying it's a structure. These objects here. This is what I was talking about in the very beginning of the video, where it looks like some kind of larger dome, as well as two other pieces on the side of it. Again, we see a lot of things that look like they're sitting on a platform. So what gives? Because if you look at the photo, folks, you can clearly see craters. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You can see many of these things are craters. And then some things, not so much. There's no way around it. Some of these things look like it has roads, too. If you look carefully in some of these areas, now some of it may just be the photo, so you really can't go by that. But you can see, like, some of these areas right here, they, like these little lines going back and forth. If you look right here, it has, like, these lines that look like they're doing this. One, two, and then three, going onto this other platform with this object. Right here. Look right inside that area. Again, we can fool the eyes by just making something half bright and half dark. And that's the whole key, to confuse the eyes so you don't see the whole object, so you think nothing of it. But just the fact that this photo looks like this is mind-boggling. It should not look like this. It should look more like this. But, folks, have a look at these objects, where these arrows are. When I looked at this with the magnifying glass, I did it like this, on a computer screen, of course, and then had a look. And just some of the detail in here is crazy. And to me, this is not natural. But folks, even in between these arrows, look at the stuff here. Look at some of the things laying around on the surface. We also have to keep in mind that a lot of these things or these structures that these other beings might make, it's not going to be anything like ours. Gravity's different. There's no air. The surface temperature changes too much. Very, very cold to very hot. So there's so many variances, so they wouldn't be living outside. There's hardly any gravity on the moon, so we can assume that they can build something very large and not have to worry about it. Or are these very, very small structures, which mean what? And I've talked about this before, that maybe us humans are the giants that came down from the heavens, and we made our life here on this planet. Pure speculation again, folks. But have a look at these objects. I can give you the overall, but right there. Pause it right here, folks. Have yourself a good look. And there you are. Folks, when I see this stuff, in my opinion, they look like structures. Some kind of weird spacecraft. Now, is it spacecrafts and structures? Pure speculation. There's no way to vet any of this. However, you can see a crater with obviously an indention in the actual lunar surface, right? These things appear to be on top. Like they're on top of a platform. Not all of these. Some of them look like very large structures that are built on platforms by themselves, and they have more of a square shape as opposed to some kind of weird mound type thing. So you have to question it. Now, some of these things may come out to absolutely zero. In other words, it's nothing more than a lunar surface. I'd go with that. But there's some things 
in this photo that's been censored that clearly look like this something much different. They don't look natural. They look intelligently made. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what your thoughts are. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more videos coming up. I know there's a little bit of time in between the last video and this one here, but we're going to start cranking it back up, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.